standard lights. As we discussed in previous lessons, the Lights panel is under the Create tab and represented by a flashlight with tools to create lights. The drop-down menu for this subset contains Standard Lights list. We can categorize all light types basically as Spotlights, Direct Lights, Omni Light, Skylight, Area Omni, and Area Spot. The first category is Spotlights. Spotlights are directional, which means they can be pointed and sized. Spotlights are always displayed in the viewport as a cone, with a light positioned at the cone apex or tip. There are two types in this category, which are Target Spot and Free Spot. Target Spotlight consists of a light object and a target point at which the spotlight points. Free Spotlight has no target point, so this can be rotated or placed freely using the Select and Rotate button. Let's see with an example. Select any object from the standard Primitive Objects list. Let's place a box in the top viewport. Select Plane and place it in the top viewport. Now adjust both. Go to the Light panel and select Target Spotlight. Go to the front viewport and click and drag so that the light cone should cover the object like this. As we discussed, the Target Spotlight contains the target and the source of light. This is the source, and this is the target point. You can easily move and rotate both source and target point. Just select the source or the target point with the Select and Move tool, and move it as per your requirement. Similarly, you can rotate both source and target. Just select Select and Rotate tool, and rotate the source or target point like this. Let's see the rendered output. Select Perspective Viewport and press F9, or click the Quick Render button, which is here. Here you have a spotlight over your object. Similarly, you can use the Free Spotlight, so try that on your own. Hence, use spotlights to focus an object with a beam of light like a flashlight, a follow spot in a theater, or a headlight. The next category in this list is Direct Lights. Direct lights spread light in a cylindrical shape in a straight direction. Like the spotlight, direct light also has target direct and free direct lights. Target direct light is always pointed towards an object target point. The target direct light always falls on the object in a cylindrical shape. You can move or rotate the source easily using Select and Move and Select and Rotate tools. Let's see this too. Select the light present in the viewport and hit the Delete button to remove it. Now make sure the light panel is selected. Select Target Direct Light. Click and drag in the front viewport. Let's see how it'll look after rendering. Select Perspective Viewport and press F9 or the Quick Render button. Come out of the render window. Now we will see what will happen if we move the light source. Select Select and Move tool and click the light source. Again, click F9 or press the Quick Render button. Can you see the difference now? You can move the target point also, so let's take a look at this. Just move the target and press F9 and see the output in the rendered window. Similarly, you can use the free direct light also. Try it yourself. Hence, use direct lights whenever you are showing sunlight. You can adjust the color of light and can adjust the position as well. Another category is Omni Light. Omni Lights are like light bulbs. Omni Light spreads light rays in all directions, so let's check this out. Select All Lights from Viewport and hit Delete button to delete it. Now select the Omni Light from the Standard Lights list under the Light panel and click on the top viewport. Adjust the light position from the left viewport like this. Select the Perspective viewport and press F9 or the Quick Render button. As you can see here, light is fully spread all over the object. You can move OmniLight with the Select and Move tool. Now, always use OmniLight for indoor lighting. The next category is Skylight. Skylight simulates the distribution of outdoor lighting from the dome of the sky. It models daylight. You can set the sky color or assign it a map. Let's check it now. 
Again, select all lights and hit Delete to delete them from the scene. Now pick Skylight from the standard lights list from the light panel. Click on the top viewport and adjust the position from the left viewport using the Select and Move tool from the toolbar. Let's see the output in rendered form. Just press F9 or click the Quick Render button. But hey, here your object is looking like 2D instead of 3D. Well, don't worry, just check the Cast Shadows option. Now once again press F9 and see the output. Doesn't that look real? See shadows here. This is really good. Use the skylight for environmental lighting. In the next lesson, we will discuss all light parameters.